Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Sam. I freaking love board games. In this video, we're going to build the Electronic Settlers of Catan board that I designed in my last video. If you didn't see the last video, that's okay. This one will be totally self-contained. But if for some reason you do want to watch and see how I designed the whole thing, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. If you've never heard of Settlers of Catan, if you've never played Settlers of Catan, that's also okay. I'm going to give you a quick 15 second introduction right now. The way the game works is it's a race to 10 points. The way you get points is by building cities and settlements. To build those cities and settlements, you have to build on different resources. You roll the dice, and depending on what the dice roll is, you produce those resources. Okay, now that you know what's going on, let's get to the good stuff. So I went to a lumber yard, and I bought a whole bunch of Baltic birch plywood. I have an appointment at the makerspace down by me to use their giant shopbot CNC machine. So I'll see you guys in a few. inside. It was a huge pain in the butt to do. Now I have to go ahead and set up the shop bot behind me. Then we can go ahead and kick off the cuts. So the board looks pretty good, but there's kind of all this little stuff that I gotta clean off. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Home Depot and go grab a chisel. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. We'll go on an adventure and we'll come back, clean it all up, and then we'll start putting circuit boards and stuff in. Then we're gonna make stuff happen. It's gonna be so exciting. Okay, let's go. So remember that time I was like, let's go on an adventure? I want to introduce you guys to the ultimate dorkmobile. This is an electric unicycle. While I was at Home Depot, the battery on my camera died, of course. I'm back home. I'm gonna go take the board outside because it's actually a beautiful day and we're just gonna start cleaning things up and chiseling it up. <laughs> to that makerspace to go cut out all the wood that I had. I was also supposed to laser cut this acrylic and guess who didn't do that? It was me. So it was getting kind of dark yesterday when I finished sanding up all the stuff. I decided to just call it a night and came back out today. I really like the way it looks. I just feel like it's a little bit too light. I think I'm gonna stain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna stain it a darker color.
so much better with the stain. You can actually tell that there's like hexes and a board. It's not just one thing. It kind of has this like almost like coffee table vibe going for it now. And now I'm thinking maybe I should like make some little legs. You know, that's another project. Anyway, I think this is pretty much good to go at this point. So now it's just putting circuit boards in, doing some coding, you know, the easy stuff. So let's get to it. Yes, a nail clipper. Oh man. Oh man. It's beautiful. Hmm. So the circuit boards look great. I just need to make sure they actually fit in the wood board that I cut earlier. Next up is the scary part. I put my blind faith into this manufacturer that they would actually assemble everything the way that I wanted it for these circuit boards. So I'm gonna go and test every single one of these and make sure that the little LEDs actually turn on because the worst case scenario is that I glue 19 of these things into the wood and they don't work. There's no turning back now. I have all of my circuit boards, got some glue. It's either gonna work or it isn't. Circuit boards are in. I'm gonna go run upstairs, grab some wire and some solder, and we're gonna hook up all of these circuit boards and pray that everything works. So it started raining. I brought everything inside. The last thing I have to do before we can kind of close everything up for good is I have to drill out a hole for the little power plug and for the little button. So I'm gonna do that inside on carpet. We'll see how it goes. You guys are here for the big moment. I'm gonna load the code on this and we're gonna cross our fingers and just hope that it works. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay, okay, I'm gonna press a little button on the side and see if I can get the dice to roll. A four! Four! <laughs> it's working! You guys, the board's working. I think it's time to just call up some friends and actually play. I think that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This project, just like all of my other projects, is gonna be totally open source. So if you wanna make your very own fancy schmancy Sellers of Catan set, make sure to check out the link in the description down below. To see teasers and little trailers for things that are coming up, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Samson March. If you'd like to support this channel and more projects like this in the future, make sure to check out my Patreon page. One last thing, I have a secret surprise for this project in particular. Make sure to stick around and tune in because in two-ish weeks or so, I'm gonna put out another just two, three minute follow-up to this and I think you guys are gonna like it. Thanks again for watching and the best advice I can give anyone is to start making things yesterday. Catch you in the next one.